This class is very straightforward. It wants to look at budgeting within the firm. In fact, all it's going to do is to look at budget headings to see the various budgets that a firm may produce and to show how they are linked. So it's just really um, a flow diagram, a very straightforward uh, class. We'd start with the sales budget. Uh, simply an account of what the, the company expects to sell and so it, it, it specifies likely sales but that, that should generate a purchasing ledger because to in order to sell it must have the raw materials and the equipment and the staff and the workers and it must have everything else in place but the purchasing ledger normally relates to what is purchased in terms of raw materials and perhaps equipment so the purchasing ledger the purchasing uh, sorry the purchasing budget is linked to the sales budget and between the sales and the purchasing we get the closing stock budget which indicates how much the business want in stock at the end of the period and how much also should be spent on stock and how the stock is managed over that period so we have now we have three linked budgets we have the sales budget that the, the business uh, puts up in order to indicate what its sales uh, should be over the period the purchasing budget which is what it's aiming to buy and linked between the two of those of course is the stock and changes to the stock and of course if we take the closing stock budget and we take the purchasing budget then we've got the cost of sales so if we know what is held in stock at the end and subtracted from the purchasing then we know what the cost of sales is. If all the items that contribute towards producing the product are itemized in the purchasing budget, then if we subtract stock left, that must be the cost of sales. And that will be the cost of sales budget. And we then have an operating expenses budget to ensure that the business can run smoothly over the production period and we also have the payroll budget to make sure that staff is paid um, so once we've got all of that we have really the the basis for a budgeted profit and loss account we have the the sales the likely sales budget and we have the components of the the cost side and the cost side being payroll operating expenses and the cost of sales so if we subtract one from the other we would get um, a budgeted profit and loss account and the budgeted and profit and loss account can indicate the budget, the capital budget and also the budgeted balance sheet. So we are generating all of the accounts in terms of budgets off this. And up to this point we have the operating budget and then we have the financial budget at the end, the capital budget, the cash flow and the budgeted balance sheet. So we can see the organization as a whole series of budgets and in other videos on this topic, on the topic of budgeting, we also talked about classifying budgets within headings and then classifying those various headings until we get to a master budget. Well that's just a different way of, of going about it but um, as we can see here we can generate all the information 
that the business requires from sets of budgets if the budgets are set up appropriately. Now that's all we want to do in this class uh, is just simply indicate that the business may be seen as a whole series of budgets for different items and if they're set up appropriately then we could generate a budgeted balance sheet a capital budget and a cash flow statement and a budgeted profit and loss account for that matter so that is our view of the of the budgets there are some references that you might want to check over and that really concludes this session a very short class indeed but thank you for watching